where did I stay in Ejabat? I did a small research about the hotels and the Airbnb apartments that were around this area, but the one that won was Maida Suites. Their location is nearby the center and the park that was in my previous post, Respect for History, um, Kilit Bahir Castle, and the ferry boat that takes you to the other side of Chanakala to reach Troya. The hotel was a family business and the people were really really friendly and kind and they spoke English perfectly. I really loved the paintings that they had on the wall because they gave me this feeling that I am in the area that had the great Ottoman victory. After a military campaign that lasted almost 10 months. The room was booked through hotel.com since booking.com is still not working for the people who are living in turkey but if you are living outside turkey and you're visiting the country here you can book through booking.com because i guess it's a little bit cheaper uh, the room costed around 40 euros including the breakfast the room was very very spacious and it was well cleaned now the only problem was the Wi-Fi because for many hours I didn't find the network. Thankfully I had my own internet. So just as an advice, if you're staying here, have your own internet just in case their Wi-Fi is not working. The breakfast was really well pre prepared and it was the usual Turkish breakfast that we all love. Um, apart from the internet, it was a really good choice. <laughs>